This year's Torn on Taxis Palace Festival began with a lavish production of Giuseppe Verdi's Nabucco by the Brno National Theatre from the Czech Republic. This is the eighth time that Princess Gloria von Thun und Taxis is hosting the two-week festival at her private palace, St. Emmeram in Regensburg. At the opening ceremony, she always makes a point of greeting the guests personally. I'm very proud of the Palace Festival because at one stroke both the Palace and the Park are open to visitors. You have to imagine 3,000 people every evening. So in 10 nights, that's 30,000 people who visit us here. During the intermission, they go into the park, they drink their cocktails, and they can enjoy Sankt Emmeram Palace. It's important to me to open it to the public. The Palace Festival in Regensburg has become one of the largest open-air festivals in Germany. It attracts visitors from many different countries, and for those who live nearby, it's become a highlight of the summer's social calendar. I think it's fantastic. The backdrop is beautiful, and there's something for everyone. It's open to anyone. That's what's lovely about it. And it's part of Regensburg. I find the atmosphere especially pleasant. It's casual and light-hearted, and everything's green. And it's not too snobbish. There's always a delightful atmosphere. You meet nice people, and there's great music, great performances. It's an experience every time. The festival program is diverse and the performers first rate. In recent years, they've included Orlando Villazon, Montserrat Caballé, and Jonas Kaufmann, as well as violinist David Garrett. This year's event will feature one of the opera world's latest luminaries, Latvian mezzo-soprano Elina Garancia, and German chanson singer Max Raba. The festival is put together by Princess Gloria and concert organizer Reinhard Zöll. We've been concert promoters for 25 years, so of course we have very good contacts to all the important artists. That's one aspect. The other is the palace with its stupendous atmosphere. You have to realize that the artists have what I might say are the most beautiful rooms to work in. The princess's state apartments and museum rooms, which she generously provides. All that together means that basically all the artists we invite accept our invitations whenever they possibly can. And that includes the ensemble of the National Theatre of Berno, whose four-hour production of Nabucco is a resounding success, despite temperatures of over 30 degrees Celsius. The performance ends just before midnight. The festivities continue in a marquee in the Palace Gardens, where the princess and her guests celebrate the opening of this year's festival. The chorus and the orchestra have gone beyond our expectations. And of course, there's the wonderful weather. Fantastic. The Torn and Taxis Palace Festival runs through August the 1st and looks all set to be a huge success.